I'm Dr. Frida, and I want you to stop eating these five harmful foods immediately if you have kidney disease. Over 37 million Americans have kidney disease, and 9 out of 10 don't even know it. Diabetes and high blood pressure are leading causes of kidney disease, but certain medications, diseases like lupus, dehydration, and even your genetics can also cause it. And kidney disease can actually be worsened by eating certain harmful foods. If you could slow down the progression of your kidney disease and even prevent going on dialysis possibly just by avoiding certain harmful foods, wouldn't you want to do it? Keep watching. Be sure to download your copy of my book. It's called Under Pressure. It's your step-by-step -step guide on how to control high blood pressure. This book is packed with valuable tools, guidelines, and information to help you to control high blood pressure. Click the link in the description to get your copy today. I'm Dr. Frieda. I'm a board certified nephrologist, which means I'm a kidney and high blood pressure specialist. And I want you to stop eating these five harmful foods immediately if you have kidney disease. The diet is so important in managing your kidney disease. And there are certain foods that you eat that can be harmful to your kidneys and they can worsen the progression and lead you to dialysis. The thing to remember is this, depending on your level of kidney function, Foods that are harmful to one person with kidney disease may not be harmful to you. So be sure that you consult your physician before making any dietary changes. Number one, red meat and animal protein. Now protein in and of itself can be a good thing. It can help us to build strong muscles. It can help us to heal faster. But if you have kidney disease, then you should stop eating excess red meat and animal protein immediately. If you take a look at your labs and you see an EGFR, estimated glomerular filtration rate, if yours is less than 60, then you likely have chronic kidney disease. And if so, a modest protein restriction can help to slow down the progression of that kidney disease. Be sure to watch my video on CKD stages after you finish watching this video. Certain patients with kidney disease should limit their protein because if you have a high protein load, especially with red meat, okay, and animal protein, here we have some steak and some pork, okay, you should limit this because if you have a high load of it, it can do a few things. One, it can increase the acid load, okay? You know how a lot of people are buying alkaline water and you want your blood to be, you know, a little more alkaline for better health? Well, if you have a high protein load and you have kidney disease, then your blood can be very acidic, which is not good for you. Also, if you have excess protein, especially the animal protein, then it can cause a buildup of kidney toxins in your blood, like that BUN lab, blood urea nitrogen. Limiting the animal protein is also good for diabetic nephropathy and animal protein specifically. If you limit the animal protein, that can help you to lower your cholesterol naturally. And we know that having a lower cholesterol can help to decrease inflammation in your blood vessels and be better for your overall kidney health. Number two, high sodium foods or high salt foods. High blood pressure is the second leading cause of kidney disease. So if you have kidney disease and you're eating a lot of high salt foods, then you will likely worsen your high blood pressure and worsen your kidney disease. That's something you don't want to do. So you really need to be a label watcher and you want to eat no more than 2000 milligrams of sodium a day or even restrict it to 1.5 grams or 1,500 milligrams of sodium a day. This is very important because again, if you have excess sodium that gives you high blood pressure, it can also cause you to hold on to water and get swelling or edema. It's just not good for you. Some foods you want to avoid, oh my goodness, that are loaded with sodium, you already know what they are. Fried foods, like fried chicken. Potato chips, especially salty potato chips, oh my gosh. And pickles. When was the last time y'all took a look at the label of a pickle? Loaded with salt, oh my gosh. So you definitely want to avoid these things. Number three, high potassium foods. Now, potassium can be tricky, so I want you to please listen carefully. If you have an early stage of kidney disease or if you have a form of kidney disease where you're actually losing potassium, 
then taking in a normal amount of potassium may be healthy for you, about two to five grams a day or really 4.7 grams a day. Be sure to consult your physician before making any dietary changes as far as potassium is concerned. However, if you have advanced kidney disease, then you should stop eating high potassium foods immediately in most cases. So here's how it works with the kidneys. Your kidneys are responsible for filtering out excess potassium. But if you have advanced kidney disease, then you may not be getting rid of potassium like you should, which will lead to a buildup of high potassium in your blood or hyperkalemia. If you have hyperkalemia, then it can cause a real problem. It can cause you to have abnormal heart rhythms or arrhythmias. It, it can even cause your heart to stop. So again, if you have advanced kidney disease and you're eating too much potassium, you wanna stop immediately. Also, if you're taking certain medications, a lot of people with kidney disease also have heart disease. So if you're taking certain heart medications or certain high blood pressure medicines that have a side effect of giving you high potassium, then you want to stop eating high potassium foods immediately. And some of the medications that can have a side effect of high potassium in your blood include ACE inhibitors, angiotensin receptor blockers, spironolactone, and there are more. Consult with your physician. So for the people who usually have kidney disease that's advanced enough to cause a problem or to predispose them to high potassium, it's usually when you have an EGFR of less than 30. So if you're in CKD stage 4, CKD stage 5, or if you are on hemodialysis or have end-stage kidney disease. So if you fit into this category, here are some of the foods you should avoid. Bananas. Bananas are loaded with potassium. And so if you have kidney disease and you have too much potassium in your blood or hyperkalemia, you want to avoid eating excess bananas. Avocados as well, they are loaded down with potassium. Another food, if you have advanced kidney disease and hyperkalemia that you want to avoid, tomatoes. There's more. Kiwis, nectarines, beans, all kinds of foods are loaded with potassium. Now here's the trick. You notice that a lot of these foods that I'm listing are generally healthy foods, right? Healthy fruits and vegetables. The good news is that if you get into a place where limiting all of these foods that have health benefits is really causing a problem, there are medications that can also help to reduce the potassium in your blood. Meanwhile, you want to avoid high potassium foods immediately if you are a patient with kidney disease who has high potassium in the blood or hyperkalemia. Number four, Processed and packaged foods. Please stop eating processed and packaged foods immediately if you have kidney disease. And you know the foods that are processed. You know the foods that are packaged. If you go into the grocery store, here's how you think about it. The foods that are kind of on the perimeter, on the outside, tend to be the healthier, fresher foods, right? But the foods that are in the center, in the middle of the aisle, that don't need the refrigeration, are the processed foods and they can be loaded with preservatives that are bad for your kidneys. One, phosphorus, specifically inorganic phosphorus, is something that can be found in processed or prepackaged foods. And if you have kidney disease, it's really not great for you because you need normal kidney function to help you to process or eliminate your phosphorus normally. If your phosphorus levels become too elevated from eating a lot of these processed foods, then it can cause some serious problems. It can cause you to have an elevated PTH level or a hyperparathyroidism, which can lead to you having weak bones and increase your risk for bone fractures. And if you have really advanced kidney disease, then having this preservative can ultimately lead to you having a disease like calciphylaxis. The other thing with these processed or prepackaged foods is that they tend to have a lot of salt a lot of sodium. And we know that having a high salt diet can lead to hypertension, which is the second leading cause of people going on dialysis. A lot of processed foods are also loaded with added sugar. It's a problem. Make sure you read the labels when you are looking at the packages of foods. Remember that the ingredients that are listed first are in the highest amounts in the food. And so if you're seeing a lot of words that you can't even pronounce and a lot of preservatives, then it's probably not the healthiest food for you. Number five, sugary and carbonated drinks. 
please stop eating sugary and carbonated drinks immediately if you have kidney disease. You already know. When you are drinking sodas, they are loaded with added sugar. Just one 20 ounce bottle of a soda can literally have like 65 grams of sugar. And just to put it in perspective, it's recommended that the average lady eat no more than 25 grams of sugar a day. The average man, no more than 36 grams of sugar a day. But even if you're only drinking like a 10 ounce soda, it can have like 42 grams of sugar. So this is no bueno, it's just not good. Mainly because when you're eating sugar, it can increase your risk for diabetes. And diabetes is the number one cause of kidney disease. So if you already have kidney disease and you're running around here drinking up all these sugary drinks, well then you can certainly hasten the progression of your kidney disease and you can increase your chances of going on dialysis faster. Don't do it. The other thing is not just carbonated drinks. Other sugary drinks, like some of these delicious coffees that are loaded, 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 loaded with sugar, that can be a problem because when you drink these drinks that are full of sugar, it's like empty calories. You drink them and they're loaded with calories, but they don't fill you up. And so you drink the sugar, you get a really high insulin surge that causes your blood sugar to drop. And so guess what? You're hungry. So you're drinking a lot of calories and then you go behind it and you're eating a lot of calories. So this can not only lead to diabetes, which of course can worsen your kidney disease, but it can also cause you to gain weight. And if you gain fat, especially belly fat, and you become a person who's living with obesity, then that also can worsen your kidney disease. So you want to stop drinking sugary and carbonated beverages immediately if you have kidney disease. <sighs> so what are the alternatives? Well, you know, water. You want to drink a healthy amount of water. And make sure you consult with your physician because depending on your level of kidney disease, the amount of water you drink may differ. For example, if you're in the early stages of kidney disease, then you may be drinking two or three liters of water at your doctor's recommendation. But if you have advanced kidney disease and you're not making much urine, then you may need a fluid restriction. Also, if you have other diseases like chronic lung disease or congestive heart failure, you may be under a fluid restriction. Consult with your physician. But in general, water is something that's no calories and that would be really the best replacement for your sugary carbonated beverages. The other thing is the water doesn't have to be boring. You can spice it up. You can put lemons in it. You can put strawberries in it. It can be really fancy. I don't care how you drink your water. Just get it in and make sure that you stop drinking sugary sodas and other sugary drinks immediately if you have kidney disease. Be sure to watch my video on what added sugar does to your body after you finish watching this video. Again, if you have kidney disease, what's harmful to one kidney patient may not be harmful to you. So always consult your physician and dietitian before making dietary changes. Having kidney disease is not anything that someone wants to sign up for, but you're not helpless. You're not because your diet really can help you to slow down the progression of your kidney disease. If you found this video to be helpful and informative, please be sure to like it and share it with the people you care about. As always, I appreciate your support and I want you to do your best to live your healthiest, happiest life. I'm Dr. Frieden.